Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Today is Monday, December 12th, and this is your morning prayer. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alrighty, so um, what we're going to do throughout the end of the year is uh, each uh, daily devotion here will be kind of uh, well, Christmas-themed, Advent-themed, what have you. And so that's what we're, we're just going to kind of work through that until we get to the beginning of the year, and then we'll start something new. So today we have Luke chapter 1, verses 30 through 34. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? All right, so, uh, obviously the Annunciation, telling Mary that she will uh, have a son. And uh, the, the interesting thing um, is what we have here is, is what happens at the beginning of Luke. So Luke chapter 1. Because Luke chapter 1 begins with um, the angel talking to Zechariah. I'm sorry, yeah, Zechariah. <clears throat> and... Um, telling him that his wife will have a son, John the Baptist. So he um, comes to Zechariah and says, okay, your, your wife will have a son. This is what's going to happen. This is what he's going to do, yada, yada, yada. And then Zechariah's response to him is, how shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife is advanced in years. And um, the angel, say, uh, the way he answers him, he says, I am, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. And I was sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. And behold, you'll be silent and unable to speak until the day that these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. So, Zechariah says, how shall I know this? For I'm, I'm old and my wife is old. Now, the angel comes to Mary and says, you're going to have a son. You know, you'll call him the same Jesus, all this other stuff, and he'll sit on the throne of his, his father David forever. And Mary says, how will this be, since I am a virgin? And they're two very similar things. You know, Zechariah says, how shall I know this? For I'm old. Mary says, how will this be since I'm a virgin? So they're two very similar respo or responses to the angel, but two very different outcomes. Because the angel is kind of indignant and then says, okay, Zechariah, since you did, not, um, you, you did not believe my words, you're not going to be able to speak until the child is born. Mary is, you know commended for, for this and she's held up and, you know, she has a beautiful song about, you know, how blessed is she among all women and all this other stuff. So two very different um, outcomes from two similar responses. But if you pay attention to what's going on here, Zechariah didn't believe what was being said to him. And he says, how shall I know this? Because he's doubting it. He's like, well, pfft, how, how shall I know this? Well, it's like, because an angel just told you, <laughs> because God spoke this to you through this angel. That's how you should know. Trust God. Um, Mary, Mary says, how will this be? Okay. She's not questioning what's going to happen. Angel comes and says, you're, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be a mama. <laughs> you're going to have a son. And she's like, okay. Um, just a question. How will this be since I'm a virgin? Just like, okay, tell me how this is going to happen. You know, just give me, give me an idea. What, what is God's plan here? How is, how is he going to make this happen? So she's not doubting the, the, that God is going to do something. She just is, I mean, she's submitting herself to God and say, okay, well, what, what can I expect? <laughs> what, what is going to, what are the steps here? Okay. Because from her, you know, from her point of view is like, well, I don't see how this can happen because I'm a virgin, but God has told me therefore, okay, so how, how will this work? Um, so Mary speaks from a place of trusting in God and asking, okay, well, how will this be? Uh, Zechariah speaks from a place of not trusting in God and doubting the word. And, and so, oh, how shall I know this? How, how, how shall this, you know, not how shall this be, but how, how will I know this? 
Um, so you have two very different approaches to it. And so the, the kind of example we have then to follow is, is not to doubt God's word, but to, um, to believe, to hold firm to it. And even when, um, you know, uh, it's difficult or we don't see how this is going to play out, you know, the prayer to God is, is not, you know, Lord, how, how will I know that this, whatever, but how will this be? How is this going to go? Lord? So, um, you know, you're struggling with something. You, you, you just, you, you know, the word, well, <laughs> um, how would I, I'm trying to think of a good example of this for you. Um, you know, well, struggling with something, say, you know, I, I know, I know what, what's supposed to, what I'm supposed to be doing here. I know God's word and, and how this is all supposed to play or how it should be. But I struggle seeing how I'm going to see this happening in my life. So and instead of like doubting that this is the way it should be or, or anything like that, like, um, but just putting it in God's hands and saying, okay, God, um, how will this, how will this be? Okay. I, I don't see, you know, I don't see the way forward. <laughs> I don't see the path through this. Um, but I trust in you. I know you are with me. I know you guard my steps. I know you hold me up. So how is this going to play out? How is this going to be? Um, you know, lead me, guide me. So that way, and I, I will, I will be clinging on to you the whole way. Um, but Lord, I, I don't know. Yeah. And this is a, <laughs> This is a good, okay prayer. A <laughs> good, okay. This is a good prayer. Is when you've got something ahead of you and you pray, Lord, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know how this is supposed to happen. I know you have a plan. I know you have it all figured out and you know exactly how it begins, middle, and you know it all. Okay? Um, I don't. I don't know God. So how, how is this going to play out? And there's nothing wrong with that prayer. You know, asking God and and us asking God, okay, tell me, show me, give give me an idea here. Now he might not, he might not show you. He might answer that prayer by just saying, trust in me, cling to my word, trust in me. He might, he might show you the way. Um, by by virtue of, um, you know, it's always fun when you you, you have you know devotion time when you go into the Word, and you 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 pop open your Bible. And if it's either the, the stuff you've been reading and this next thing, or maybe just randomly, and it's funny sometimes how maybe something that you pick up is all of a sudden going to be like, wow, that actually really applies to my situation. Um, almost like the Holy Spirit is working through that, uh, working through the word. Imagine that. But, um, you know, God will either answer your prayer and say, okay, this is, this is how, or he'll say, you know what? I, it's not for you to know right now but trust in me. And this is where the faith of Mary comes in. You know, let it be to me as you, as you said, you know, I, I submit to God and, and his will in this. And though I don't see, you know, how this will be, God knows how this will be. And he will, if he, he he'll show me or he'll guide me through it without me knowing exactly, but either way, God will be with me. So it's just kind of a neat little uh, contrast between the two different uh, reactions from the angel and uh, how that plays out. There you go. And if you notice, this is my uh, my last uh, Christmas shirt in rotation. This is our family Christmas pictures, the Big B Christmas light pictures. So, or a t-shirt. <laughs> so tomorrow we'll be back to one of the other shirts I've already already had. So we'll see. Let us pray. I thank you, my heavenly Father. Through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right, blessings to you on the first day of the, the, the week. Well, yeah work week. Uh, have, a, have a good Monday. Hope everything goes well for you. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. So until then, peace be with you.